suns, moon, and stars and two. And signs and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mother share. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself and overall the positive way you show up in the planet. Now, with that being said, let's get in there like a swimwear. Now, you know, I got to remind people, I got a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a clone, a wannabe me, but try to do it better than me. An English professor, a WhatsApp bandit, and a voodoo high priest or priestess all floating through that comment section, but also got a lot of love. That voodoo high priest or priestess is promising to get your love back for a small fee of $39.99. All you got to do is sign your life away on the dotted line. Do not fall for the okie doke people. If you have to bend somebody's will for them to be with you, or for you to be with them. They don't need you. And you definitely don't need them. This is past, present, or future energies. Parts may resonate with you. Parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. This could be somebody in your environment. Someone thinking of you. You're thinking of them. An ex, a co-worker, a past over loved one. This may or may not resonate with you. Any and all information that you need about me or regarding this reading shall be in the description box below. Including a few links. Okay. Where you can get in contact with me, you have to reach out to me. I will not solicit you for my service. I will not ask you to follow me on any other site, especially not WhatsApp, okay? You won't find me on WhatsApp. I do not offer any readings outside of YouTube and my Wizio account, and currently I am on vacation over there. Be mindful. Somebody is using my picture on this platform and possibly others because they be obsessed. We got certainty. Somebody's uncertain. OK, this person keeps looking back to the past. OK, this could be somebody that you may have had some associations with being that it's right next to Leo. OK, somebody didn't have what it takes to move forward. They, they lacked courage. This person was uncertain of the future uh, when it pertains to them or family or with you. This could be an emperor. A divine masculine or not so divine masculine. This is about W-A-R. This is about bending people's will. This is this is force. OK, this is toxic masculinity, rather, if it is a male or a female. You may ask, how is it toxic masculinity if it is a female? Well, we have women that are more than willing to uphold a toxic belief system, a patriarch, okay? Because they feel like they're going to gain something. I'm hearing something about double talk. This could be an individual that likes to double talk. They like to mimic whatever, whatever their master is saying, all right? This is somebody that's in some sort of illusion surrounding a partnership. Somebody could be trying to burn evidence. Going forward, there's going to be some truth that is displayed. What I'm getting is this person is about to go into their Saturn return where where everything that they sent out, everything they participated in, they're now going to have to do that. Some of you may be saying I've been hearing this for a long time, either not just on this channel, but on multiple channels. Well, the thing is, the people that watch these channels re religiously and try to counteract uh, what's happening in the planet, they're racking up more karma. So you don't see what's taking place with other people behind the scenes. And one thing's for sure, two things for certain, they're not going to tell you if they are receiving karma. Some of them, they may not understand it because they possibly went their whole lifetime doing the things that they were doing and feeling like they were getting away with it. However, it's about to be a shit avalanche. OK, on somebody's head and it's going to come aggressively and it's going to come forcefully. We have Leo, Aries, Scorpionic energy with lunar eclipse telling me that this is uh, someone that operates in the dark. OK, using moon manifestations or moon manifestation skills. OK, what I mean by this is somebody that continuously does something around the Full moon, new moon, crescent moon, gibbous moon. Okay, this would be somebody that's an expert at trying to bend somebody's will 
using either a lunar calendar. More than likely, this person may have a um, an app or something that, you know, signifies them when to do certain things. They could be working with the group. All right. This may be somebody that you love, somebody that you work with, with Venus being here. And we also have spontaneity. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong Aries in this reading. It could also be um, a Capricorn as well. With astrology here, I don't usually get Aquarius, but for some reason I'm getting Aquarius as I look at that. That could be an indication of the future, but this could also be anyone. All right. With destiny being here, this is about somebody stepping up to the plate when it's time for them to step up to the plate. This is about making conscious choices, the right decisions. Okay. Somebody's sudden return age is coming. Okay. And I'm hearing you got to pay the cost to be the boss. This is speaking about judgment at the end of the day. Okay. As you may know, this is my Hey Big Head card. So, hey, Big Head, I know you're watching me. Okay. So, we have clarity in astrology. So, this could be astrolo astrologist, a metaphysician. Okay. Somebody that's into quantum physics. This could be a science scientist. And I don't know why I heard a mortician. We have a scarring mirror projection, projecting negative energy, projecting negative outcomes, anticipating negative energy or negative outcomes with a friend's group. Okay. Or a friend. All right. At the 11th house comes the 12th house, and then you get to see who all your hidden enemies were. This is speaking about your social life when we talk about the, uh, excuse me, when we talk about the 11th house. Not only your social life, it speaks about your goals and who and what you need to achieve them goals. Somebody couldn't make a decision. And I'm hearing you possibly did. You need to stand firm in that decision. Some of you, you're letting go of people, places and things that no longer serve you because you have no choice. These would, these would be people that you found out that deceive you. Now, what I'm getting collected is this is someone that you tried to warn. Certainty. Why is this here? Now, the lunar eclipse is fate. Okay, it's fate. This is about fortune. Whether if you're on the top of the wheel or at the bottom of the wheel. Somebody could also be in a place where they're having a hurricane, a fire. You could be in a place where there is W-A-R or somebody's just aggressive. And here we have the moon card on the fence. So somebody wanted you to be discombobulated. They didn't want you to have clarity. They want you to be, or whoever this is, all in their mind, okay, about a situation, about your love life. OK, if you could trust friends or family. Now, what you need to realize, collective, is these are not the authors of your story. OK, you are the author of your story and the divine has your back. We got the sign car here, the sign car here. We're talking about burning out, <laughs> burning out the negativity in someone. This is like a, a, what is that called? An exorcism. OK. Extreme sun is being shined on some sort of illusion. Somebody could have a brain issue. I don't know why I keep getting brain aneurysm or something like that. Somebody may be thinking an awful lot, but this could definitely indicate some sort of psychological dysfunction with the will of fortune being here. It's a lot of fate on the table. All right. This particular will of fortune indicates to me that there's a split between masculine and feminine energies. This could be an actual relationship or this could be somebody that either acts too much or not enough in their masculine or feminine energy. In any given case, there's a split. Somebody can't think straight. Their equ equilibrium is all messed up. OK, and this is something that is faded with justice being here. And again, it's time for this person to pay the cost to be the boss. Why is Leo here? For some of you, you could have a 17-year-old. Hopefully, you're not 17 watching me because then, you know, that would be, you know, that would go against the qualifications that it, it, you have to have to watch this channel. Somebody could have been born in 71. We got a hierophant. All right. So this is telling me this is a 17 year marriage or partnership. This could also be 17 year uh, friendship 
or some or 17 years of someone working in a particular field or trying to master a craft. Somebody could be getting a doctorate, a master's or something like that. We have the Queen of Wands. This is telling me somebody's very passionate. OK, this person could be passionate at uh, about you. Uh, however, what I'm getting is for some of you, this hierophant has a high position. It doesn't necessarily have to be a religious position. It could be an occult master. OK, someone that is very skilled at what they do, whether if it is spirituality, sorcery, uh, a priest, a priesthood, some sort of order. All right. This person is watching you work. They want to invest in you. OK. Or you want to invest in them. You have your head down. You're tending and you're tending to your toil. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but OK. Daisies could be significant or sunflowers. All right. Could be significant um, for some of you. All right. Some of you, you may grow sunflowers. You may have gathered some if they are in season, wherever you are at. We have the Queen of Cups. And we have the Queen of Wands. Now, we see in the other Queen of Wands where the Queen of Wands was down, okay, um, tending to her crops. Okay, it looked like uh, she was planting seeds. Could be she or he. But what I'm what I'm getting here collective is somebody's very passionate at what they do. The Queen of Cups, somebody could have been drinking a little bit. Uh, and I'm not throwing stones at none of you that drink and I'm not uplifting none of you that don't to each their own is can you handle your liquor can you handle your liquor and it feels like even though this queen of cups is not in reverse they can't handle their their liquor matter of fact i hear sloppy drunk all right this may be someone that falls out okay or makes a scene this is the dance on table type of energy for some of you you may have went out uh, with your husband or with somebody that you work with and somebody may have been tipping a little bit too much, tipping and sipping a little bit too much. Somebody could actually fail or just made themselves look foolish here. This could be someone young or somebody that really doesn't drink. Why is Lunar Eclipse here? Somebody wasn't prepared for the change, okay? With the moon and the sun, this is somebody that tried to hide something from you or from a group of people or possibly a relationship. All right. So for those of you where you know you tried to warn someone, this person wants to come in with an apology with Knight of Cups being here. All right. This one, this person may have some sort of romantic offer for you. OK, I heard romance in the stars. You may have met, uh, met this person or dealt with this person where you were in the dark night of the soul. All right. This person may want to come and apologize for some of you. It could be a son. It could be a daughter with the moon card here. Just take it how it resonates. OK, you wasn't sure um, or this person's not sure how you're going to respond. As a matter of fact, for some of you, you may have been dealing, uh, you know, you may have witnessed your child or someone that you raised as a child. If it's not your child, it's somebody in this environment, possibly someone you love child okay this could be a child that's in their 20s early 30s but what i'm getting is they were going through some sort of change okay some sort of upgrade some sort of test unbeknownst to you we have the judgment being here all right so yeah for with the world card being here for some of you that change um you know is your child maturing and that is the energetic cord okay because it's uh your child. For others of you, this is someone that does not want to let go of your energy. Somebody that was operating with malicious intent in the dark. They wanted to cause some sort of confusion here. OK, this is somebody that you possibly blocked off. All right. Something could be taking place in the month of December or possibly already did with this being um, in the past position. OK, so, yeah. So whatever bondage that they may have had over you or over this person or with themselves that's coming to an end. This person is trying to hide it or fight it, but it's inevitable. All right. This person may have been trying to slow you down. OK, I do feel like this person wanted you to feel stuck, but it appears like they are stuck. OK, this is somebody that keeps looking to the past, obviously. So there was some sort of judgment call that was made. Somebody gained some clarity. This is clarity here and this is clarity there about a new offer, a new passionate offer. Okay. This has something to do with creativity. Somebody could be 
anticipating a, a child or a new business, but this is the start of something passionate, okay? You're being advised to have confidence, or this person was. With the Empress card being here, this does have something to do with a pregnancy or someone, um, someone that they were in a relationship with, or a mother or father of their child. That's coming. That's coming to an end. This somebody didn't want someone to change. Somebody may have been expecting someone to change. All right. This is somebody that stays stuck in a repetitive cycle because they were hoping to bring someone with them that the divine did not want to come. OK. Venus talks about partnerships. It talks about money. You could be a Libra. Don't necessarily have to be. You could just be someone with I'm hearing ethical. You want things to be balanced. This could have something to do with the court system. This could have something to do with romance, but this is feminine energy, okay? Somebody's crying. Crying and alibying is what I what I heard with the Queen of Cups here. You possibly may have your defenses up, okay, against this emperor, or this emperor has their defenses up and, and they're very I'm I'm hearing mournful or sorrowful with the king of cups here because someone didn't believe you okay this person may have tried to defend someone's honor okay or somebody was possibly doing something thinking that they were defending someone's honor but this emperor here that's sitting on their throne this is telling me that this person had good intentions so it's going to be different for everyone for some of you this could be a husband for others of you, this is your divine masculine. And I don't want to hear, they ain't divine. Look, every story ain't yours. Why is fire here? Somebody's sorrowful with the king of cups. This person may be acting defensive towards you. This person may be receiving some karma through their finances, or they may be receiving karma through their love life here. OK, this is somebody that was re repeatedly lied to, possibly by someone that they have a child with. And here we have it. Somebody definitely could be an Aries because we have the emperor here, but also a Taurus. We got strong Aries in this reading. Aries here. Aries here. Aries here. But it could also be a Sag as well as a Leo. Strong Leo, too. So take it how it resonates. I'm hearing something about divine counterpart. This person may have a mixture of Capricorn in their chart, or this may be you. All right. But somebody felt like they had this demonic being under control. They were dealing with someone that couldn't control the beast within. This is someone that when you're not looking, they do things diabolical. OK, this may be someone that sickly believes that they have control over Satan is what I'm hearing. Possibly the devil. Some sort of truth is coming out. I'm hearing the rightful owner of something. Okay, you could be a celebrity or you could be someone of influence. Or this is about your stability. Somebody may want to place you on the throne. Oh, you. Okay, we got the moon card. The moon card here. And the magician here, this is somebody with sloppy work, work ethic. They're not able to manifest here. And if they are able to manifest, they spend it frivolously. OK, they, they don't. Yeah, they don't have all the tools that they need here. Or this is somebody that is. Oh, shit. this is somebody that is greedy in a sense. They may have the tools or they had the tools. I'm hearing after this truth comes out, things are going to be taken away from this person. Most definitely, because we have this person is not protected. And the Queen of Wands wanted to go in reverse. This is a strong indication of somebody using spell work. OK, possibly to get someone to hold back on the offer. How we begin is how we end with the moon card here and the moon card there. Look at that. Right. So this person was certain in the past. However, they're not so certain. OK, because this individual didn't realize uh, they were being tested here. So what you don't see is things are falling or crumbling all around this person. They're losing friends. They're losing. If they have a business, they're losing clients. These are all the things that they wished on you or they wished on multiple people. This is a fire starter collective. OK, this is someone 
that is very um, cutthroat or they speak a truth, uh, a, you know, a blunt and honest truth or they need to. I feel like this is someone that's always pointing the finger at someone else. They're not connected with their emotion. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, as well as Scorpio or Aries in their chart, or you do. All right. This is someone that will most definitely lie about the things that they do in the dark. I'm hearing they have an image to uphold here, or they believe they do, because this could be somebody's spouse. Okay. They may have a high position in the community as well. Somebody may have went to someone that was stellar in the community, somebody that's high ranking, and they may have lied to this individual. Why is the moon card here? The test, the hand of God, a mother speaks the truth. So for some of you, this mother lied, it could be a child's mother, it could be your mother or a mother figure. But for some of you, someone may have spoken the truth to you or about you to someone that was uncertain. OK, you may be a masculine energy. You may be wondering if this person is telling you the truth here. Some of you, you may have dealt with the mother figure, whether if it's your mother figure or if it is someone that you have a child with regarding a son, somebody may have came out and spoke some sort of truth and released some karmic uh, debt that they may have had surrounding you, the sun card. For some of you, this you are the son and the mother is speaking the truth to you. You may be uh, questioning if your parent is your parent, okay? Especially if you are older. We have Be Awesome today. Oh, yeah, bad news, okay? I don't know. I don't. I heard the neighborhood pass around, child. I don't know what that. For some of you, your son or a son figure or someone that's younger than you may come in and speak a truth about something that took place at a rec center or a park, or somebody could be testifying about that. With the sun card being here, you could also be a juror, and you may be uh, hearing a, a court hearing. This could be somebody that's in the public eye with shooting star being here. Somebody had an inability to let go in the past, but whatever was spoken, it released somebody. It released them. Uh, of course, that's not going to be for everybody because for some of you, somebody's still trying to keep something secret. Okay. Possibly that they are um, inhabiting a, a, a property are some properties that are not theirs. We got unconscious bias, social stereotypes, okay? Address your thoughts and feelings, planting thoughts. Try not, do not, there is no try. So this is somebody that's getting in some, again, uh, a public figure's ear or their counterpart's ear and speaking ill, Ill will about someone, okay? Somebody could be talking about somebody's social life or getting two people to argue here. It's because somebody want to stay in a position or in a home that is not theirs. OK, somebody may be worried about you moving into a home. OK, after someone gets a divorce. OK, we got dance in the rain today. You are you and that's enough. So that tells me that this person was trying to shame you for being who you are. Or this person was saying things like, uh, you know, you're broke. You you only want to be with this person for money, anything and everything to plant seeds of doubts in someone's head. This is someone that is fearful of change. OK. This may be a fixed sign more than likely. Yeah, could be a Taurus <laughs> with high refined here, but it could also be a Scorpio uh, Aquarius. What's the other one? Leo, I believe. Oh, yeah, we got it all here. Leo, Taurus. Come on, man. Somebody didn't want something to change. Okay. It, it could be a belief system with the Hierophant being here. It could be a marriage. Why? Anything else that we need to know about the Hierophant? Archangel Zafkel, passion, knowledge of God, thrones. So, ha, okay, I get it now. So this is somebody that may have said, again, you know, we've been getting this. They put, they tried to plant some seeds of doubt in whoever this is. Could be you. 
They may have said that you use sorcery here or that God wouldn't like you or accept you because of your spiritual beliefs or your spiritual practices. But you are someone possibly like myself. You could identify as an omnius. OK, I heard, I heard a naturist. OK, you may use the you may use the same. Uh, I got the same religion as that tree outside. When people used to ask me what I believed in, that's what I would say. Because ultimately, religion is man made. Right. So this this person went to someone that had knowledge OK, of man made perceptions or perspective of some of religion or spirituality. However, they may have um, not known the things that, you know, when it talks about the thrones. OK, so this could be I clearly heard Catholicism. So whatever this is, and a lot of people don't realize that. Catholicism has different branches. Christianity is one of them. Baptist is one of them. So when you see people that talk about Catholic this and Catholic that, they don't realize that that's the same. <laughs> that they're the same. Catholic and Christian are the same. So what this is telling me is this person was planting negative seeds of doubt in someone Possibly to stay in a partnership or to stay in a belief system that no longer serves them. Okay. I heard the blind leading the blind. Somebody has a lack of interest. Or they wanted this person to lack interest in you, Queen of Cups. Somebody drinks. You may pick up on this person drinking. Okay. They drink to forget. Would be a nice human. Teach, love, and inspire. So for some of you, <clears throat> this person is jealous of you. We've been getting this energy of people arguing behind closed doors. OK, this may be someone that goes to church a lot or their their family may own a church or this may be yours, but there's something hidden. I heard something not something not right. <sighs> uh, let me just put it. Up. Let me just keep on moving forward. Anything else about be a nice human, teach love and inspire? People be thinking too much about the things I say. They don't realize the things I don't say hold more weight than the things that I do say. Okay, so we got landfill and dumpster. This is repressed emotion. Somebody could work in a landfill or dumpster or in an environment where you deal with garbage. Somebody may have treated you like garbage. This person was in secret competition with you. This is also an individual that tried to set you up. OK, this was a skilled manipulator with the Queen of Cups being here. More than likely, this is somebody's counterpart. OK, this could also be someone that you drink with. For those of you where this is a friend scenario. Never forget how they shown you no love and they watch you struggle. This is an agent of chaos here. You expose something or I expose something about this individual. Or they need to go ahead and confess something, possibly the fact that they are not grateful of their own gifts or what God bestowed upon them. So they want to make you feel less than. But I do feel like some truth was spoke about this person. OK, that they only carry about they only care about somebody could have a license to carry, too. But they, they only care about social norms, what things look like on the outside, but this is somebody that is, has participated in some sort of scandal set up. Okay. We talking about, you know, some of you, this person is trying to hack your account. You may be getting notifications about it. This could be somebody in your neighborhood. Okay. I feel like this person is about to get a gun put on them. Knight of cups. Yeah. Somebody wants to apologize about an incestuous relationship that they may have had that kept them in a trauma bond and a soul tie. They were dealing with someone that is a zombie. OK, this person could have alcohol, drug abuse 
issues or they just soulless. They are hosts here. Okay, I heard the walking dead. We got love is stronger than hate. You operate from this space that allows you to, you know, live freely. Okay, without no debt. If you have actual debts, it's it's possibly something that is easily paid off or something like that. For some of you, you may be trying to get a home or you're trying to upgrade. You're possibly trying to broaden your your horizons. You want things. You may not necessarily have wanted those particular things in the past here, but this is what this person was fearful. They were fearful of your upgrade, okay? They may have tried to stop you from getting money, getting a love life or whatever, both, Okay, this person could have said that they were pregnant. For some of you, this person is pregnant by their own family member. You know, this wise is here. Look at that. Lack of direction, disconnected from source and intersex. The great ones will walk the earth again. Now, about a year or two ago, about a year or two ago, right? I got a channeling. Now, this may have been before I started doing readings for the public, but I was sitting there thinking and I was like, is it, do, are you considered gay if you are a woman or, or a lesbian? If you, are you considered gay or lesbian if you are a woman and you're attracted to a trans woman? Now, that was something that I had asked on my community section, uh, my, not my community section, my social media platforms. And this, mo this is what this is giving me. Okay. Most definitely. Okay. So somebody, this is the person that's trying to hack your account. Somebody's child's mother or somebody that wants to be a divine feminine. We got a astral, astral travel and pull. So this is somebody, yeah, they, you may be dreaming about this person or this person is trying to like pull you towards them. They may have paid someone. They could have paid someone that said, you know, like to some sort of scandal to try to put you in an incestuous relationship. And it's not necessarily like, it's not that this is, this is something that was, yeah, this was something that was being done to to, to block you from moving forward here. Somebody could be in a court case, all right, and they, be, they may be finding out that a son is a cousin of theirs or of this empress's family. Like, real sick, they pay someone, okay? We got communication with, with, with spirits, dark witch divination without purpose, without purpose, without permission. That came up in a few readings back. I happened to be listening to it and... um. In that particular read, it talked about someone dealing with the barons. And I wasn't quite sure if those of you that watched that knew what I was saying when they was doing divination without permission. Now that this card is here, I can explain or elaborate a little bit more about what I meant. They were going to the crossroads and asking for something and they ain't even they're not even on that level to where they, they could be communicating with the barons. Like and, and this is why I say. Um, I got this download this morning that people are teaching people that they are gods. Not everybody's a god. Not everybody was a king, a queen. Not, not a lot of it was a lot of sorcery that was played on people in past lives. And so we got people out here wanting to teach that every particular race was 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 this and that. No. No, some of them was peasants, some of them was shysters, some of them was Judas. And and and, and what is the other ones? That was was crucified with Christ. Some of them was them lineage of them people. You know what I'm saying? That's that's where they come from. That's why you got them coming out like like they is with no heart, no, don't care. And this is this these are some of the individuals that these people are teaching that they are gods. They will and and, and not to fear God or you know I mean it's every level. It's a new devil. But what I'm saying is, how can you teach somebody that they are God if they don't even know, if they don't even have knowledge of the devil? And if you don't believe in the devil as an entity, you got to believe it as an energy because it's definitely running rampant on the earth right now. King of Cups, why is this here? 
We got strawberry fields, okay? So this is somebody that gets high. They get high. They get high. Somebody could have gotten high and started breaking down, realizing that they were used in the situation. This is somebody that got an ego. They could be on the cusp of cancer and Leo here. This is somebody that got a real big ego. For some of you, this could be this emperor brother that they finding out, you know, father, some, father to child, knight of swords, or somebody they grew up with like a brother. We got to take a gentle approach, time to slow down, withdrawn and prawn. Pause. I was going to say pawn or prawns. <laughs> Somebody eating prawns or this was a pawn. This is a pawn in the devil scheme or something like that. We got somebody that's into white collar crime. Mortgage fraud, embezzlement, healthcare fraud. And they hooking up with this person trying to hack people accounts. Where did they start coming for you? There's a... Um, a system upgrade that's happening all over the world, collective, and there's so many people trying to take advantage of uh, people's online activities. So be mindful and make sure that you are double and triple checking your security and making sure that you're you getting notifications, okay, about things that's taking place uh, on your accounts, okay. Adding extra security on top of security, and if you don't know what's out there, I suggest you use the the Google. You know, like the like the like the OG say, use that Google, <laughs> the Google. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make make Google more popular for for things that has um, that's pertinent to educating yourself and less about porn. Yeah, I said it. We got. I love everything about you. This is how this emperor is feeling. All right. For, for some of you, this is how you feeling about a business. I kid you not. <laughs> You got like some fire opportunity for some of you. You may be, I don't know, I'm hearing fire, a grill, grill. You could be like opening up a grilling restaurant or somebody just feels fricasseed or something. <laughs> the judgment being here. <laughs> it's a decision being made for some of you got something fire. Okay, I don't know. Maybe this emperor is a producer or they're into some sort of art here. But whatever whatever they got is fire, yo. Judgment, why is it here? <laughs> and here this all go. Somebody might be getting fire <laughs> with the world car here. <laughs> After this, this this knowledge coming out, after this person knows the ledge, they after they learn the ledge, somebody getting fired, yo. Somebody could say yo a lot. They could be from, uh, shoot, I was going to say L.A., but New York or something, you know. Um, whoever this person that was down for whatever, you know, they can't sleep. And that's their uh, judgment here. To be isolated, to be doubted. OK, uh, to be out it possibly for whatever addiction that they may have. This person was warned. And again, I'm, I'm I'm trying to tell you this person, whoever this emperor is, they feel like they got something to lose. So this is what's going to happen. They're not going to let you know what's happening behind closed doors. They're going to act like ain't nothing happening. Captain. They're going to act like it's the best. It's the best relationship. Because they feel like somebody got something over them or this person has a big ass ego. They don't want to be wrong. Especially if you tried to warn this person. Why is warning here? Somebody can't sleep. Because of some sort of judgment call that was made. Whether if it was made by you or whoever. This, somebody possibly got fired too. Yeah. You could be a Scorpio. They could be a Scorpio. We got rainforest destruction. Some of you, you may stay in the wooded area of forest. But for some of you, oh, you may be having a property built. We got terrorists. This, 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 this is my terroristic threats with ozone layer depletion and Freon next to it. Somebody is chemical. They into some sort of chemical man-made uh, hallucinating. Paraphernalia or whatever. I don't know. 
They blew up the spot. Somebody got high and they blew up the spot. Somebody could have also had an overdose, okay? They could have, yeah. They could have had an uh, overdose. And it's interesting that fire keeps coming up. Somebody was greedy or something like that. Oh, man. Racism. This could be a racist. Okay, with the hunger card being there, that was, some of you, this is somebody that's just uh, hunger, hung, they, they hungry for any type of energy. They, they like attention. But somebody could have definitely grew up in a time of races, a racism, or they may be in an environment where they feel their bosses are racist, or you could be this racist, okay? And there's going to be some sort of judgment call made about you or whoever this is that's going to stop them in their tracks. This is somebody uh, that possibly participated in trying to set someone up with the Knight of Pentacles being here. For some of you, it could be an ex-husband, a husband, their brother or something like that, or an uncle or somebody that's close could be a friend of the family. It could even be a child. But for some of you, this person wants to come in and speak the truth about this Empress. You could be this Empress watching... Something may be getting held back from you. Yeah. Or this person may be trying to hold back an offer. Or they were in the past. Um, trying to hold you back from any new offer because they wanted you. Okay. So they received some karma behind that too. They may have tried to put you in a throttle or you were in one. But the sun is coming out here about this star seed. And things are going in your favor. All right. Yeah. This person didn't want you to move forward. Look at that chariot. Look, this person was bored in a marriage, okay, in the belief system. Look, they had to they had to cycle that out. And on that note, deuces.